What's up YouTube? Good morning. It's about 113 degrees out here in Arizona, um, but I'm still making videos for you guys. Just wanted to show you guys what I got. My last uh, little haul. We got the Rome Vagabond tent in the green black combo. So none of that uh, body armor 4x4 eyesore tent on the back of the truck. So now we got the premium Rome tent. Okay, so, and also, we got the Rome awning right here. The four or five, five foot Rome awning. I still gotta figure out how to mount it with the tent and the poles and everything. So, we still gotta figure that out. But, yeah, we just got a new Rome tent, Rome Vagabond. Sorry guys, uh, the shirt off. Um, it is just definitely really hot outside, so any little bit uh, helps. And I also got some of these from method so i got four of these bad boys four of these bad boys i'm gonna put on the wheels they go right here get rid of these ones um let me put these ones on okay so i got a little unboxing here i got a couple parts um for the truck we got some colorado canyon enthusiast uh ditch light brackets here so I'm gonna put these on probably sometime soon. Okay, let's see. Oh, these bad boys are fucking huge. Okay, okay. So yeah, these are some ditch light brackets for the front of the truck. Got those. Got another one. And a sticker. Sour patch kids. Okay, and then we got uh, the stubby. Antenna, nice little small buddy, little small guy here. Let's we'll see if the Series XM works with this one. A little small one. Before, after. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the setup here. Uh, my camping setup and what my rig is about. This is my 2023 Chevy Colorado Z71. Um, it's the black one. I originally was gonna get the Trail Boss, but I decided to get the Z71 because I mean all the stuff the Trail Boss had that's different or fuck. The Trail Boss just has like a two inch lift and like a two inch wider track and then the work truck interior. And my thought process was that eventually when aftermarket comes out, I could build it better than the, the Trail Boss um, suspension wise. And you know, that's pretty much all the Trail Boss had was um, a little bit better suspension from factory off road. So the Z71 right now has no type of suspension because no companies came out with anything yet, but eventually, you know, we're gonna hopefully get a long travel kit, Baja kits or Dirt Kings in the front. And on the rear, I'll probably do some like, I don't know, hopefully Old Man Emu come out with something or uh, Devers. Cause right now with all the camping gear, the tent, the awning, the rack and everything, she's a little squatted in the rear. But we'll probably get some different leaf springs eventually um, to hold more load. Rear, probably just some like Fox 2.0s or something in the rear. And then Fox 2.0s in the front or something like that. You know. And then this is my uh, Rome tent. It's uh, new to me, the Vagabond. Um, it's the brown, green-ish uh, black um, with the black uh, annex. Um, I, I do have like the insulation in the inside and the sheet and whatnot, but um, it's not cold enough out here for that. We have the sheet on there, but not the insulation. Um, and then we're rocking some some Amazon um, K1 
Camping chairs here with a Outland portable fire pit, which is fucking gangster in Arizona because we have a lot of fire bands. So this comes in handy when, you know, we can't have any type of real fire. But um, I'm going to come over here. I have just a shitty Coleman cooler that's probably from the 80s. So it doesn't really do anything. So I have to leave the the plug open so all my food doesn't turn into water and just always drain it. Um, and then just some uh, Walmart camping totes. That's the camping stuff right there. And as it goes for the kitchen setup, um, it's a little messy over here. We just got done with dinner. So it's a little messy, but we just have a Coleman grill. Works great. Don't really need nothing else. Um, we have an all top trash roo that I can't really put on the back of my bed because it's brand new black paint. So I don't really want it to scratch it. So we hang it up on top of the rails right here. Um, and then, yeah, that's my, my Rome Vagabond tent. And then I have the Rome awning right here. It's the four and a half inch one. All right, and then for the wheel setup, we have some Method 305s um, with the new Method caps right there. Tacoma colors, but you know, we're the Tacoma killer, so we had to put them on there. Um, and then we got some Falcon Wild Peak RTs. They're, uh, what the fuck are they? I forgot. Two, two, 255 80R17. So they are um, a little bit skinnier than normal, but for the factory front end right here, they fit perfect. So 33 skinnies. Fit on a Z71, perfect, no rub, with uh, zero offset wheels. So, and the wheels are 17 by eight and a half. So, and no rub, anything full articulation, totally fine. And that's my low rider right there, Finley. And then as it goes for my rack, I have a DV8 rack. That is a Tacoma rack that I fabbed up and made work on the new Colorado. So. I have a video on that, so if you guys want to watch how I did that, watch that one. I'll link it in the description to check that one out. It's super simple, so, you know, all you really got to do is uh, do some bed clamp action like the old man campers have. Um, you can pretty much do that with any any rack, but watch that video. All right, as it goes for my uh, portable power station, it is a Supri Powerbox 200 watt. Um, it's fucking badass. I've used it so many times charging my phone. I lost the block for my charger, so I pretty much just charged my phone a, like 15 times with it. Works great. As you can see, we're charging our portable speaker because we never charge anything that we uh, need to use at camp, so we bring this to do it. My beautiful girl, she uh, strained her hair with it and it works great. Um, I'll add that clip on here. I'll add the link in the bio for you guys to check out. Um, I'm pretty sure they're having a sale right now. So if you're um, there, definitely go check it out. Um, super good deal. I have a coupon code too. If you guys want to use that, I'll put that on the screen right now. So just use that coupon code to get one of these. They're badass. Um, super affordable first power station um, for camp. It's not going to like run a fat fridge, but it'll run a bunch of things. It'll last you. It has a normal AC plug, wall plug right here. This is the plug where you charge it. It has three USBs and a USB-C, and then you can actually run a solar panel on this to charge it right here. I don't have a solar panel, but you can use that. Um, then it has a light right there, flashlight, which is pretty cool, a flashing light. So if your t Toyota breaks down on the side of the road, you got a flashing light to come and get you. And then just a little bit slower one. I don't know what this is. This is Morse code for help me. Um, and yeah, that's it. We charged it before we left. And I charged my phone once. I charged my GoPro. I'll add that clip on here too. 
and then now we're charging this and it's still at full battery so it's a pretty kick-ass little unit definitely go check it out